Hello everyone, this is Ron from High Tech Legion and what we have here is an Inwin Wavy Mini ITX or Mini DTX small form factor case. As you can see in the front we have some of the features listed right at the bottom. It has a 9 centimeter side fan, an 8 centimeter silent fan, and a 4 centimeter cooling fan. It has three fans inside a small form factor case. It supports Mini ITX and Mini DTX motherboards. It has two USB 2.0 front panel ports, HD and an HD audio port in the front. And on the side, you have a table of specifications listing all the other features, including the built-in power supply, which is a 160 watt unit. This should be more than enough to power our i3-530, socket 1156H55V Mini ITX motherboard. And of course, it has support for external drive bay, such as an optical uh, drive, which is using a slim form factor, and a single 3.5 inch drive bay. As for internal it, uh, drives, it supports a single 3.5 inch and a single 2.5 inch drive. Let's see, at the back, there's a photo of what the Inwin Wavy looks like and flip it to the side and you have a list of other features and uh, we're actually going to open the box right now and see what we can find inside and uh, how the Inwin Wavy performs. We'll look at it later once we assemble all our system components inside. Outside of the box we can see that this Inwin Wavy in particular has a black color. It also comes in a white variation and uh, this actually looks slightly different than the Wavy, we can see on uh, Inwin's website. This new variation has a opening on the side panel for better airflow and actually has a fan installed underneath there. Let's try to open up the back and see uh, a little bit more in detail on uh, what comes in the Inwin Wavy package. The side panels actually have these removable thumb screws. There's two of them that uh, keep the right side panel in place. You can see it's perforated, it has a large area on top, and you can see a 90 millimeter fan side. And at the back, you can see the plug in for the built in uh, power supply, and you also have uh, more air area right on the side for airflow, and the two expansion slots, which are low profile. At the bottom, there's also a vent more ventilation area underneath and on the other side is actually bare but there are mounting areas for maybe putting it in a uh, um, standoff so when you want to mount it sideways later on. On the front once again you can see the wavy design integrated. Uh, there's actually the uh, power button is actually right there in front and there are LEDs. It's nice that the design is integrated uh, the buttons rather are in integrated with the front panel design and including the uh, at, underneath you have these um, recessed front panel buttons and ports uh, uh, front panel USB 2.0 and front panel audio and you also have the uh, external devices you can install you have a 3.5 inch and a slim optical device which I think can be converted to a full size a full-size optical drive. Well, we'll see later when we look at it. Now let's try to take out the optical drive cage. There are two smaller thumb screws holding it in place. And to remove the front panel, you just simply push these tabs and you can remove it completely. inside and try to take out the optical drive. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any other screws holding in place. There we go. And uh, let's put this aside for a bit and take a look at the um, accessory and power supply included inside. You have a white accessory box. First let's look at the power supply and uh, this is actually the Power supply included inside is a, it appears to be a 160 watt power supply. Uh, the old version of the Inman Wavy has a 120 watt power supply. 
So it looks like they not only upgraded the airflow of the new design, it also has a better power supply. That is a different form factor. As you can see, it is a small brick and has a ventilation on, uh, on the rear. And tied in uh, is the front panel connector with the power supply connectors. Let's just take out this little lock right there. And you have a power LED, and there are two kinds, a three pin and a two pin. And a hard drive LED and a power switch. And of course, you have your USB 2.0. And uh, actually, this is the USB 2.0. And you have your uh, HD audio connectors. And as for the power supply, you get a 20 plus 4 pin, a you have, you have your 4 pin motherboard power connector, and for uh, hard drive and optical drives, you have uh, two SATA connectors and a 4 pin Molex connector. Now there is a fan on top, which is a appears to be a smaller 80 millimeter. If I'm if I'm correct, and uh, the top air is also perforated, as you can see, and uh, right here where the hard drive area is, you can there is actually a smaller 40 millimeter fan blowing to, to the hard drive area. The box containing accessories have. The user manual is inside a plastic container. You have tiny screws. I'm assuming for mounting one of the drives or an optical drive maybe. And a, you have four pin Molex to uh, female four pin Molex to male four pin Molex as well as it converts to two three pin uh, fans, fan connectors and you also have this uh, four pin Molex and SATA data to a slim optical drive connector. It's very convenient that uh, Inwin has included that in that package. And you also have a whole bunch of screws. Let's so, move that away and take a look at the optical drive mounting. Be included, and uh, this is the optical drive cage that we removed. As you can see, it is convertible, it has a slim uh, optical drive area on top, and a 3.5 inch external device that can be mounted at the bottom. As you can see, there's a screw right there, and if you take this out, that out and take out the bottom part, uh, you can actually install a full size optical drive. Although there is a fan on the way, so you might want to remove that uh, if you want to install a full-size optical drive.